everyone, it's Julia. I hope you're all having a great day. I started to clean my sewing room this weekend and did you hear the word started? I, because I didn't finish. But I, I found this really fun image in one of my folders and I got to thinking that this is going to make a free motion stitching project. And I got an idea for this. I made this little zippered pouch. The large flower is on the front and the smaller flower on the back. It is, like I said, it's zippered and it's fully lined with a little wristlet or a little strap. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I took this image and transferred it to the fabric, how I painted the image using my Durant Inktense blocks, and I also use a, a new product that I've never used before. It's been around for a while. I just haven't, I'm just finally getting on the bandwagon. But it's this, this fusible um, foam stuff. This is actually fusible on both sides. And I would not recommend the fusible on both sides for this project. Uh, but I got an idea for another project with, that I will use if the fusible on both sides. Okay, more, more on that later. I go over the basics on how I assemble this also, but honestly, I didn't explain it very well. And I, I'm going to link the um, video, how I learned how to, how to do the zippered pouch. It's the um, Crafting, Crafting Gem Gemini, I believe is her channel. I'll make sure to link it down below. She does an amazing job of explaining how to do this. It's an awesome little pouch, completely finished off. There's no raw edges on the inside. And so, yeah, I'll link that down below. So let's get started. Here's the fabrics that I used for my project. I used a primitive muslin by Moda for the main part, the strap, and the zipper tabs. I will list all the sizes down below, but I'll just mention them quickly here. This measures eight and a half by six and a half. The strap, three inches by 14 inches, and the, the little zipper tabs are two by two. The lining for the pouch is the same dimension as the actual pouch itself and same with the little um, the, the foam interfacing. Now as I mentioned before this is fusible on both sides and so I didn't fuse it at all I just kind of until the very very end I just laid it underneath. I did not have my press, cl press cloth handy and if I were to press this on it, I, it would also be sticking to my iron and so I just I didn't I didn't do that part. I would recommend having a, a, a foam that is just fusible on one side for this project. But let's get started and I'll show you how I went about. First of all, putting the design on the piece of fabric. I'm using the iron-on transfer pins by Sulky. I'm using the orange color and just tracing around the outline of this flower. Now pressing it on the right side of my pouch. And it leaves a very faint transfer, but I can see it easily at my sewing machine. Now onto the little one that I'm putting on the back side of the pouch up in the corner. And this impression did not work as well. I don't think I got enough ink on it. And so I'm taking my mechanical pencil and I'm just kind of tracing over those a little bit. This is that foam and I'm just laying that fusible foam interfacing on the back side of these. And I'm going to head over to my sewing machine. I have my embroidery foot on, my feed dogs dropped, so I'm going to be doing all the movement on this. I have black thread on. Just kind of doing a crazy stitch here in the center of the flower. And now starting on the petals. Going over them all twice. And I'm not concerned if I'm not going over the line. I kind of like the sketchy look.
and onto the little flower on the back of the pouch. Onto the painting, I'm using my Durant ink tense blocks and a very stiff scrubber brush. I wet the brush and then pick up the paint off of the blocks. And then just go in and just scrub it in. These paints are very vibrant. Once they're dry, they're also color fast and permanent. So they're wonderful for fabrics. They blend really well too. I just, they're just a lot of fun. up the blocks and just kind of taking the paint right off the block. And adding a little bit of the magenta color also to this. To preparing the zipper. I'm taking those little tabs and I'm folding the ends up, trimming the bottom of the zipper just a little bit and I'm going to enclose the zipper with this little tab and do a stitch line real close to the edge all the way through all the layers. The next step, you want to make sure your zipper is open for this. And the zipper needs to measure one inch smaller than the zipper pouch. So I'm cutting the zipper at seven and a half inches and enclosing both ends, the other, the other end the same way as the bottom end, and then trimming this little tab so that all the edges are the same as the zipper. Now the tabs and the zipper are, are all one unit. I'm laying it face down on the front side of my pouch and I'm taking it over to my sewing machine. You can see now that the zipper is actually one, a half an inch in on both sides because we, we cut that zipper an inch shorter. Putting my zipper foot on. Getting around this little zipper pull, I first pull it down sew a ways and then lift up my pressure foot and I'll pull this little tab up to get it out of the way and then I'm free to just be able to travel all the way down this pouch reversing on the end now laying the lining So the lining will be laying face down on the same side of this, of this zipper. So we're just going to be enclosing that side of the zipper between the lining and the, the front of the fabric. And now we do the same to the other side of the zipper. I will be top stitching this. 
laying the zipper on the front side of the back side of the pouch, lining up the side seams, and stitching. And doing the same with the, the lining, just enclosing that zipper with both the lining. Now onto the strap, just folding up these edges to meet in the center and then folding it again. And then stitching on the long side of the strap. I decided that strap needed some color too, so I went ahead and I, I put some black stitching on there. And then I'm painting these little, adding some just color to this little strap. I basted that strap in about an inch below the zipper on the front side of that pouch. Now the zipper has to be open on this step. And this is the final stitching step where I stitch all this in one at one go of it. The little zipper will be folded towards the lining. Putting a couple little pins in here to re a reminder that I need to leave a little hole, a little opening on the on this lining. So I will not be sewing between those two pins, but going all the way up, down and around, missing that zipper tab on the sides. Now I'm just trimmed, I trim the corners and I'm getting my fingers in there and I'm turning this poking out the corners. Now all that's left is to close up that this little this little opening in the lining. Just the close up of how that zipper turns out. Those zipper tabs make such a nice finished look on the zipper. And the little lining on the inside. I love this foam. It just adds structure and stability to to the pouch. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day.